Hello, this is Dinesh Kumar, one of the students from Welltech High Tech Engineering College, belongs to the stream of Electronics and Communication Engineering. This is about our project, Reconfigurable Antenna for Wireless Application. My batchmates are E. Ajay Kumar and S. Balaji. My hearty thanks to our supervisor, Dr. Suresh Kumar M, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, and Co Supervisor, Mr. Prabhagan N, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE. Our project is about reconfigurable antennas, which is known for its dynamic nature that has the capability to modify their properties such as radiation pattern, polarization, and frequency. As frequency reconfigurable antenna reduces the bandwidth requirement of spread spectrum signals, these antennas are beneficial for diverse applications. Integration into most modern wireless systems, miniaturized size, low cost, or other desirable characteristic of frequency reconfigurable antennas. The objectives are to design a simple reconfigurable multiband antenna with 2-pin diode switches for WiMAX and WLAN applications with a frequency of 2.4 by 5.8 GHz and 3.5 GHz to simulate the antenna design by using ADS to fabricate the microstrip patch antenna by using FR4 to investigate the performance of the antenna in terms of region loss, operating frequency impedance, bandwidth, and radiation pattern. A microstrip antenna is an antenna fabricated on a PCB and are mostly used at microwave frequencies. An individual microstrip antenna consists of a patch of metal foil of various shapes on one side with a metal foil ground plane on the other side of the pool. Due to the thin planar profile and ease of fabrication using printed circuit techniques, these microstrip antennas have become very popular in recent decades. This is the visual image of rectangular patch microstrip antenna. Microstrip antenna fee techniques can be categorized into two. In our project, we use microstrip line feed. The image represents the fee technique used here. This is the design equation part of our project where effective dielectric constant, del L, effective length, width, height, and other respective parameters were calculated to design our antenna. The image represents the cross-section of a patch antenna. The substrate decides the bandwidth as well as size of the microstrip antenna. The length can be reduced by increasing the dielectric constant of substrate, hence miniaturization is possible. The bandwidth increase with increase in substrate thickness or with decrease in dielectric constant. Hence, the substrate is important in antenna design which causes to miniaturization as well as broadbanding the antenna. This is the block diagram explanation of our project. First of all, the modification of substrate, ground plane, patch antenna length, ground plane length width and layer layers and port assignment happens. The final two steps involves 3D modeling and S parameter simulation. This is what we get as the simulation result and the 3D preview of microstrip patch antenna, which is the outcome of our project. The simulation of rectangular microstrip patch antenna has been designed and characterized using ADS software, and the simulation results were obtained. The parameters of the antenna, like bandwidth, radiation pattern, and return loss, have been found out by using ADS software. This visual image shows the effects of the pin diodes on the simulated patterns of the antenna in different switching states with different resonant frequencies across the operating bandwidth. Here is the radiation pattern of the antenna in the four states which indicates the suitability of the designed antenna for WiMAX and WLAN applications. The radiation pattern is the most important parameter of antenna which varies based on the type of antenna used. The different type of antenna has different radiation patterns. ADS software simulated parameter. Return loss, input resistance and reactance, radiation patterns and gains 
were simulated with different DC biasing across the pin diodes. The results obtained from ADS simulation shows reasonable agreement. Thus, we conclude that in our antenna, multiband operation was achieved by using pin diodes as switches to reconfigure the antenna, generating specific frequency for WiMAX and WLAN applications. Our antenna provides up to 10 different frequency bands between 2 and 6 GHz with relative impedance bandwidths of around 2.5 and 8%. The future scope of this project is the reconfigurable multiband antenna that is designed using pin diode which gives superior performance with respect to bandwidth linearity, power consumption and isolation. The loading of two identical slots in the radiating patch causes meandering of excited patch surface currents which results in a new resonant frequency. Thus, this new feature is useful for WiMAX and WLAN application. This project adopted various steps in order to overcome constraints imposed by the radiating environment. These are the references we used for our project. Thank you.